That's why I said they're so, going to be back and forth. So, back and, forth. Then, then, and then let's just be clear on this too. We're standing on dry land. But the same geology exists under the river. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, the this is just surface features of what you're looking at. Many so, uh, this could happen under the river. Right. Yeah, yes, did, no. especially under the river because that doesn't have quite the clay and sands holding it together because that's kind of been flushed out and all these rocks are just sort of lodged probably. And they're actually, go excuse me, actually at, under land they're going to be 60, 65 feet. Under the river is only 42 or 45 feet. Now, when they start up there they'll go down 65 feet so wherever the topography goes the road. They're 65 feet below where they started, but if the land surface drops 20 feet, they're only 40 feet below land right. surface. Right. It's going to vary it's like my drill here, I'm thinking I'm 20 feet below the surface here. Over there, I'm only about yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so, yeah, this, this, you get the point. <laughs> Last time we walked this, um, we had a gentleman here that talked about when they do this drilling, because it is a half a mile or longer, that it has to, the drill bit itself has to surface every 1,500 to 1,800 feet in order to know, know where their directional bore drilling is going. Have you ever heard of that? No. So you think that it's just going to be a channelized the entire half right. a mile? I'm, I'm not an expert on horizontal drilling. Hey. Suffice to say that they've got the means of controlling that head. Do you know the answer to that? Following it from the surface so they know where it's at, <coughs> the elevation it's at. They, they've got a, they got a way of chasing that pipe right. until it hits something and deflects it. Right. And they don't know until afterwards. <laughs> so Lee was asking about this. Yeah, and I, and I, I'm totally unfamiliar with that. Well, I've been around and seen it happen before, they but they have a way of tracing it. But once it hits, like you was talking, they don't realize it. They start cutting trees down. And they got to come back on. Yeah, yeah, when they got to pull back out. Think of it. Yeah, regular concrete. But they said, well, yeah, you don't know what. Hold here. What side cavern under the top of that? Right. Take a lot of trees. So, either because of this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There, you get all kinds of wild ideas. They're a half a mile. <laughs> they're, they're, it's a half a mile total. So, um, it's under, only a couple of hundred, uh, uh, maybe a thousand feet <laughs> to the pasture up through there. Mm -hmm. And it's a, little, it's a little higher elevation. Than, I'll say this. And on the other side, it's you go to elevation. New sawmill. So the total distance yeah. is about They had sinkholes open up there. Now they asked me uh, to write a report what the sinkholes going to be like. And I said, we were just talking about the sinkholes. sinkholes the when the sinkholes open up, they're going to they start to have to move that fill layer. Yeah, they're going to have to cut the trees down. So what they did, they, they, they as far as cutting them down and saying they could do a clean bore, they wouldn't have to the sand because it really just surfaced things. Because on the trenching, they cut everything in They did that. Right. Through there, one entrance, you'll see the rock that they pulled out. And the remnant, uh, yeah. how are we doing on the top of the boulders, the biggest boulders, <laughs> <down. laughs> and they're just sitting on the ground and they just ripped out the back of those. Alright, we're going to find you at home.